Hi, I'm Keely Parsons, and I want to welcome you to ParsonsPerch.com. Today I'm going to go over a sample lesson of what you might see on a weekly basis from our teachers. This first lesson would be a first grade lesson about the month of October, but each lesson will consist of sight words, some phonetic awareness, review of spelling, review of concepts, introduce new concepts, and review those new and old concepts. So let's get started. Go ahead and say with me now our sight words. With, was, you, that, after, and over. Very good. Now we're going to listen for some short I sounds. If I give you a word that has a short I, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If I give you a word that does not have a short I, you're going to give me a thumbs down. All right? I want you to listen and I want you to echo the word I give you. The first word I'm going to give you is gift. Echo. Gift. Yes, it has the I in it. Echo this one. Carpet. No, no, I in carpet. Echo kitten. Yes, very good. Let's go ahead and practice some of those spelling concepts we've been working on. Get your letter and your boards out. I'm going to have you dig out some words. And if you'll remember, we always like to use our shovels, and we're going to dig out each sound until we put the entire word together. The first word I want you to dig out with me is the word pit. All right, let's dig out pit. P -I -T. What sounds did you hear? When you did pit, you heard p, i, t. Very good. But what do I do when I want to make a word plural? Do you remember what we did when we want to have more than one pit? When we have some pits, we would add that s. Very good. Let's try another one. What if I have the word rat? Dig out rat with me. Ready? R, a, t. Very good. You should hear the r. Ah, and t reading rat. However, what do we do if we have more than one rat? We add our S and we read it rats. Very good. Let's review now some of those sounds that we've been working on in letters. Say it with me. A, apple, a. I, igloo, i. O, octopus, a. Suffix S, more than one. Suffix ES, more than one, use if the word ends in ch, sh, s, x, or z. And suffix ed means it happened in the past. Very good. Hey, there's Ed. Guys, do you remember meeting Ed? You met Ed when we talked about the fact that he was added to words ended in the past. But I didn't tell you everything there was to know about Ed. And I'm going to finish the rest of his story today with you. Do you remember how I told you Ed loved to read and he always had his head in a book, and he was always walking around reading. And he was doing that very thing one day, outside reading and walking, when he tripped, and he looked down, he tripped on a genie bottle. He had read enough stories that he knew that if he maybe rubbed its belly, that a genie would pop out. So he rubbed on the genie bottle, and out popped the genie. The genie was so appreciative. He'd been locked up here so long, and he stretched his arms, and he stretched his legs, and he told Ed, Ed, I'm going to give you three wishes. So Ed thought about it, and he decided since he loved reading, he wanted to be involved in reading, and he wanted to be added to words. And he knew if he was added to words, he'd be added to books. And so that was what he wished for. And then he thought, that was kind of a selfish wish. Because now everybody's going to see me in every book and hear me in all these sentences and added to these words. So he said, somehow maybe make it a little bit tricky for kids where they don't always know it's me. So his wishes were granted. He was now added to words. He was added to lots of sentences, added to lots of books. And he was tricky, but only for a few kids. And I'm going to explain to you why he's not going to be tricky for you. And you're going to be one of those kids that doesn't get tricked. All right, we already know. Tell me, suffix ed means it what? Happened in the past. Well, every time we see ed, we know that it means it happened in the past. However, when we see ed, we might hear some other things. One of the things you might hear is ed. Everybody echo ed with me, ed. One of the things that you might also hear is duh, echo duh. But you might also hear t, echo t. Every time you see ed to a word, 
You will see it with your eyes, but you will hear something different. I'm going to give you a few examples of this. Looky here. We have a word with our suffix ed. Here's another word, suffix ed. And our last word, suffix ed. They all end in ed, and our eyes see that ed, but our ears are not going to hear that. Our ears might hear three different things. They're either going to hear the ed, the d, or the t. Okay, get out your hands and let's practice because I'm going to ask you to show me what you hear. And you're going to either tell me that you hear the ed sound, whoops, the d sound, or the t sound. All right, echo this first word with me melt ed. What did you hear at the end of melt ted? You did, you heard that ed sound. Look at this word, played, echo, played. What did you hear at the end of played? You heard the D sound. And echo this one, pushed. What did you hear at the end of pushed? You heard a T, okay? Our eyes are always gonna see Ed in those words and in those sentences, but he's gonna trick us by making those three different sounds, whether it be Ed, D, or T, all right? So we are going to add a little bit to our suffix card that you're gonna see from now on. You've already seen suffix ed happen in the past, but now we're going to add sounds like ed, d, or t. Say this whole card with me. Let's go ahead, though, and say it like old man ed. Can you put on your old ed voice and say this card so when you see it tomorrow, you'll remember it? All right, here we go. Suffix ed happened in the past can sound like ed, d, or t. And we'll keep practicing that, and you'll see it again tomorrow as well. Let's practice a few of those words that actually we just talked about today. Get your letters back out. Actually, I'm going to turn the board this way today or for this part because we're going to do some bigger words. What if I give you the word, um, let's do this one, dust. If I give you the word dust, but I want you to say you dusted, how would you put that suffix on there to show dusted? Very good. You would add ed. Read this whole word with me now, dust ed. What about this word? I'm going to put up a brand new word, and I want you to see if you can read it with me. I'm going to put up jump. Oops. And let's see if we can figure out how we would spell it in the past tense. So if I have the word jump, but I want jumped, he jumped over the sidewalk, how would we do that? You're right. We might hear that sound, but we're still going to always spell it ED. So it would say jumped. All right, one last one. What about if I have the word turn? Say turn with me. Turn. Wow, I want to say that I turned into the neighborhood. How would I say turned? Again, you're right. I would add not just the D, but I would add the ED. Sorry, I've had a helper show up. Please go sit down. Turned. Very good. This is just a sample of what you'll see on a weekly basis. We hope that you're excited about the review and the consistency and the structure of this, and we would love to have you sign up and join us. Feel free to email or call anytime. Thank you. Yeah, my turn.